everybody. We're doing our daily, well, nightly read because I really don't read during the day. Not as much as I used to. It's more like a nightly thing. Tradition, of course. How is everybody doing today, my beautiful, wonderful queerits who follow me? Because that's what you are. Right? For anyone new to my channel, this is what I do on a nightly. Everybody, this is actually going to be a Thunderdome, so we're reading for two people instead of one today. So, probably you and the person you're dealing with. You choose who's the worst person, and then, like, you decide that they're worse than you. That's how it usually goes here, right? Right. <laughs> well, not normally. Some people do own up to their bullshit, and that's, like, the important thing. You learn, and you experience, and then you move on to grow some more. Right? So, for anyone new to this channel, this is an all signs reading. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it, for it is a card game after all. It won't work if you don't believe in it, right? Or maybe it will, and it'll surprise you. Just boop you right on the news, right? Right. And if you want a personal reading after this, my email, Facebook, and Instagram are all down below. I prefer my email, but whatever is easier for you, right? First reading's free on the house. Everything else comes with a price that is also in the description box as well. And I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. So group one and group two. Group one, you already have the ace of wands in your vibration, right? But your situation is the queen of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, trying to cut something out, right? Your wants and wishes could be a Capricorn. Sucks for you. <laughs> By the way, I'm a Capricorn, for anyone who doesn't know, but I say that like every video. Uh, not that that's anything to be proud of. I am the devil after all. As some people like to refer to us as. But you know, honestly, the devil isn't as bad as what people say they are based on the fact that like everyone goes on like old religious ideas of the devil. Honestly, the devil is very good for people because he teaches you valuable lessons. It just happens to be the hard way. He throws whatever he can at you just to see if you can take that shit, right? He deals with criticism, limitations, um, rebelliousness, um, self-identity, stuff like that. But I'm just tooting my own horn. Like I said, I'm a Capricorn. And that Capricorn is sneaking right over to that Ace of Wands. But that's what somebody's wanting and wishing for. The obstacle and challenge against them is the Page of Pentacles. They have no idea what they're doing, but they're trying to get something done. That's the obstacle and challenge for Group 1. Fears and Rejections, Libra's card, Justice. Ew. Could be dealing with legal matters, but it's more like Karma, because it is a Karma card. Then we have the Lovers Reverse, what started this shit and how it will end, how it will come full circle. Speaking of circle, the beginning theme is the world. Another karma card, specifically Saturn's. Mm. Interesting. There's a new cycle beginning. Mind you, I do the whole as above, so below. So what is above is conjunct to so below. I know conjunct means something different in astrology, but, you know, bear with me, right? Because I'm a loser. I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you kill me? I was listening to Beck earlier. I was actually listening to the Vines. I used to love the Vines when I was younger. A lot. Like, I don't know why. It just, especially that song, Ride. I love that song. I'm probably going to end up singing it at some point if it resonates in one of you twos. Group one or group two, right? So, group one, what do we have for you with this ace of... Well, hold up a minute. Someone wants to start something and they know that like they have to try to get something done that they don't have never, I think, done before. This is like novice. This is also like dealing with people and they have to deal with the fact of this separation right here. It doesn't have to be a lover situation. It's just an emotional connection they have with somebody else that's now severed. The problem is that they're afraid of justice, which kind of tells me something about this person if they're afraid of what'll come of the consequences. Yeah, those swords are scary, but I don't know, man. Sometimes it's, it just pays. Which is saying a lot for me. Um, this Queen of Swords, she feels like cutting out something. 
But she's also involved with wanting the Capricorn as well, which has something to do with this connection. Could have been a Libra or a Capricorn connected to one another at some point. But that is kind of the situation right here. So this Ace of Wands, what is up with it? There is an ability for a new... Uh, as a fucking Ace. Ace of Pentacles. Someone wants to birth something new. But it has something to do with some investment in the home. And they're thinking... It, wow, from the Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles? Someone is uh, going to somebody else. Somebody older. Somebody more experienced about this whole investment in order to get the Ace of Wands started. The situation with this is the Queen of Swords, though. Who cut something out, could be Libra, also Gemini and Aquarius, and apparently that didn't work very well for them, for some reason. It, it backfired. That's the Magician with the uh, Wheel of Fortune right here. And it's like he tried to steer his own fate or control his own fate, and that didn't work. It did not work in this person's favor, and the Ace of Wands did not begin for them. Wow. I like. I, I honestly just completely decided, like you know, I like I could flip all these aces, but there's really no point. I mean, like they did try to um, manifest a new beginning. We all see that, and I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles up here, if it was reversed. They're getting bad advice because of it, so. For anyone wondering if we flip the aces, but it's like, this all like backfired against this person. This querent group one, right? This want and wish, they definitely could be a Capricorn trying to sneak in, trying to get to this new beginning, but it's like, mm, who wants the devil? Mm? Summoning a lot of power with that. Looking for a reason to stick around with this devil person. There's a whole bunch of water out there, and yet they're trying to swim their way back to this person. Who is not offering... Like, they're not offering anything, but they want to stick around with this devil? They're looking for a reason to stay, but they're not offering anything up. Okay. Like, they want a reason to stay. There's plenty of water out there. Like, you know, there's plenty of space out with this, uh... Six of Pentacles right here, but the thing is, is, like, the Earth sign is not offering dick here, and I'm not entirely sure why, so I'm probably gonna drop another card. Why isn't this dude offering anything? Oh, I got two cards. Um, nothing is working, or nobody's working on this love. Another ace. Uh, Quirit one, or group one, like, mmm, I'm curious, really. Oh, someone, is, someone needs to listen to their intuition. Possibly Pisces energy, right? With the High Priestess. The obstacle and challenge in this page of pentacles. Someone is a novice in how they're going to get shit started or offer up their pentacle in regards to this separation right here. This requires patience. A lot of patience. Especially if you're dealing with a Capricorn. Jesus Christ. Well, wait, are they expecting the Capricorn to offer something? And offer it very little? Because that's the wrong goddamn idea, you know. The, like, the Earth sign is definitely, like, pretty much chill by himself. He's even got a buffalo friend to talk to. You know? Just saying, like, um... This is a lot of fucking aces. Like, almost every ace is out. And every ace has been out. So this is like... Someone's got a wrong idea about, uh... How things are supposed to go, I feel like. Like, it's almost like this person is depending on new beginnings. But they don't realize that the new beginnings that they have in mind... If they're dealing with an earth sign somewhere, particularly Capricorn, like, what, whatever, like, it's almost like they think that, like, this person's going to offer something to them in this situation, and they gotta be patient, and that's the wrong idea, because nothing's happening. Like, they've already tried to manipulate some action to happen, and that didn't happen either. Um, they're going to advice for somebody who's older, but if I flip all the aces around... 
you know, like if I flip this around, it's saying stop being patient and get the right fucking idea. Like this person is not going to offer anything. If you think patience is going to uh, defeat this obstacle, group one, it's not. And if this is somebody you're dealing with, group one, um, they definitely have the wrong idea. Now, the fear and rejection, justice card. Ooh, both of those came out rather quickly. Uh, what they fear with this justice card is that they won't get away from oblivion before it's realized that they wasted their time on this shit. What the fuck is on my card? Oh, my God. I have no idea what that is, and that makes me sad, but at least I know it's mine. <laughs> um, it's like they they like they're so afraid of justice that then they realize that all of their running away from oblivion was futile. Like this dude looks so sad looking at the pentacles. Like I put so much energy into this, and it just didn't work out, and I don't know why. You know, you can almost hear him whining a little bit from it, right? Which is rather sad, I feel like, for group one. Hey, kitten. Because it's like, it, it, I feel like they have put a lot of energy in. But the thing is, is like, with this relationship, there's only one cup. Or one cup card, which is the two cups, which is the separation. Everything else seems like it really doesn't have anything to do with love. It has more to do with money and action. Maybe, like, some really messed up ideas about how that shit will work. I mean, like, if they're looking to get with the Capricorn, they're not doing anything to make this dude want to stick around. Like, he's getting in the way. Right? Speaking of the Two of Cups, this is what will bring everything full circle. It started with this and it ended with this, right? What is up with this Two of Cups reverse? Someone uh, didn't get their way, so they were just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna let it all burn. If I can't control it, it's gonna die. You know? Hmm. And they're biting off more than they can chew. Uh, strength reverse. It's like they're going for their lusts, their vices. Um, it's like once they got single, it's like there was like nobody holding them back. Mind you, this is Saturn's card too. And it's looking over all this shit like judging it like your mom a little bit. Just being like, I'm really disappointed in you, so we're just going to start over, okay? Okay, just give it a minute because this is what we're doing. Right? What's the ending theme in all of this, please? The Devil Reverse. Excuse me, Gretchen, I don't mean to move you too much, but the Devil Reverse. Once again, Capricorn's card. So, group one, you could be dealing with a Capricorn in this. And it's like you got, you're looking, it's like the both of you realize you're projecting over each other. You're not, like, really vibing with each other either. And it's like you guys don't realize how bad, or what people would say, toxic which i absolutely hate i hate using the word toxic but it's the best thing that fits right because people get that immediately but it's like people aren't really toxic nobody's poisonous um people can be bad for your health though i'll say health hazard um your relationship is a health hazard if you will right there you go Gretchen. that's a little bit better but it's like a health hazard between the two of you like, neither of you do realize that um, you're projecting onto each other. And that is a shame indeed. The fuck am I... What is this? Sorry, someone just sent me something and I'm just like... Confused. That must have been my husband. He gets on my YouTube all the time and just does whatever. I really don't pay attention to what he does. Anyway, right or wait, right? I think I want to get the um, after tarot deck. Just so... Because, like, a lot of people have been mentioning it to me. Um, not in the open or anything, but like a few tarot readers that I've been talking to who have sprung up out of nowhere from the earth to haunt me in my sleep. They were telling me I should get the after tarot because like I, I would be, they would be useful to me and I've never really messed with them and I didn't know they existed. I know there's a Batfor tarot deck too and I'm interested in those as well. But I might try the after tarot deck just to see how it is. I'm going to end up with a ridiculous amount of decks. 
That's what's exactly what's going to happen. Anyway, with this group right here, this is a situation from a past event that somebody walked away from. But now they're snooping on the entire situation. Like they're mad someone's having a good time? What? 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 Group one. Are, like, it's almost like somebody's upset that somebody else is having a good time, has their back to everything. And just have their sort of like, I will cut all of these bitches for smiling, you know? Hmm. Let's see. Very insecure about things, holding them too close to your chest. Um, being a selfish prick is one thing. I'm still looking over here, right? Wanting to cause petty fights and waste people's times or make yourself look like a martyr with all those petty fights. That's not good, group one. I don't feel like that's healthy. It could be uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Definitely Pisces, because I think Pisces also is represented by the Hanged Man as well, but I can't remember. Someone said that to me once, and I was just like, are you sure? Huh. Uh, someone needs to make a decision about this uh, lack of commitment right here or mutiny. Mutiny? Bored of letting all the right to be. Invite me down because we like to see the colors through your loaded mind. Stop the world and never wait our turn. Because you're running in, trying to start fights for no fucking reason, and not trying to get a victory, not letting things die. Mm. Because that's what makes you happy. Hmm. Group one. <laughs> Like, I, you know, I don't like being that guy. But I can see why there's a new cycle starting because this is not good. This um, health hazard between the two of you, unhealthy relationship, is just... It's like someone's obsessed. You know? Which is horrible to say, but it's like somebody's obsessed with making somebody else miserable. It could be the cap record? I don't know. It could be somebody else dealing with the cap record. I really don't know, but it's like... Hmm. Very interesting. Alright, group two, we're going to move on to you. Two seconds, please. Oh my. Group one, I must say, you are an interesting breed as it is. A terrible shame, though. Like, I, I, I completely get it, though. But it's also, like, very interesting. And, um... Well, the, the Queen of Wands was here. Or the Queen of Swords was here. But it's like somebody went to the Page of Swords instead. And it was just kind of like, ah. I really need to shave this down. And I have not had time. I'm clocking another 105 on the job again. So... <laughs> that's probably why I haven't been able to get anything done. Really. Which is unfortunate, but it happens. So let us see. Group two, now you are up, right? So let's see what your side of the story is on these shenanigans. Because I really don't understand why group one is behaving the way they are. Oh! You might have a lack of victory, or you feel like people are coming against you. Six of wands. The situation is making some decisions. And you're not, you're looking at stuff in the past and how your options went, but on your higher self with the other pentacle, you're recognizing that people will come against you. Or that there's been an enemy in your house. Or that, like, no one thinks that you are a victor. Your wants and wishes is for this betrayal and feeling stuck in a box will end. Um, your obstacle and challenge is a king of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, right? Who's left you feeling like there was a pile driver to the heart. Just be like, can Just, uh, right? The obstacle, uh, well, not the obstacles, the fear and rejection right here is a wish fulfillment. With the nine of cups. Okay, so you have more cups than, like, group one. Ooh. What started this shit and how it'll end and how it'll come full circle. Queen of Cups, the counterpart. 
And she's a sneakster one in this deck. In this deck, she's offering her cup, but it's poisoned. So don't drink anything she gives you, because she's fucking crazy, right? <laughs> Very crazy. Acts like she's your friend, but she's not really. Mind you, the King of Cups, he's more like validating his own emotions in order to recognize others. Here, this bitch is like kind of poisoning somebody. So I don't know if they're the same person or if they're opposites. Beginning theme for you, group two. Judgment. Either you can resurrect something or you have the right idea about something. One of the two. Pick for you. We'll paint it all in blue. How do you do? My name is Mr. Moo. Cuckoo Kachoo. I am the Eggman. I am the Eggman. I am the Walrus. Cute, 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 you all here, we all here, we all here, jamming here together. Da 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 da, see how they run, see how they run. I'm crying. I am the Eggman. I am the Eggman. I am the Walrus. Did you know that the Beatles like actually locked themselves in the studio for so many amount of times to make that song stone off of their ass of multiple drugs? What? Who the fuck is Yoko Ono? <laughs> okay, Lenora, if you see this video, I'm going to call you because I've been completely confused about Yoko Ono, and you are going to explain that to me, damn it, because now I'm like, wait, what? Okay. But, for real, fuck Yoko Ono, <laughs> she's stealing your shit. <laughs> like, she killed the, wow. What? I was just singing the Beatles. Get out of my head, Lenore. <laughs> wow, that was creepy. Anyway, yeah, they, they locked themselves in their studios, did a shit ton of drugs, and then made music, right? It was fucking crazy. Like, I, I, like, I, like I, I had no idea about that till my husband told me, and it gave me a whole new appreciation for the Beatles. That's just a little fun fact for you. But that song was definitely influenced by drugs. Uh, most best music is usually influenced by drugs. But that's beside the point. Anyway, grip two. You feel like you don't have a victory, but your obstacle and challenge is validating your own emotions and feelings. It's almost like, you know, everybody's making you feel like you are nothing or you are worthless. Um, in particular, the Queen of Cups is, right? And she's the one holding the fucking poison cup. She's just as dangerous as the magician reversed. Except she's doing it because she has a reason. That is not a, really a reason at all, more along the lines of like, I just feel like being spiteful because it's the right thing to do and it makes me feel better, you know? Both could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, right? And you're afraid of a wish fulfillment. Now, you have your own cup and then there's the Nine of Cups and it's like you're afraid to fulfill your own wish and get the Ten of Cups so you find that emotional fulfillment, right? Now, you're still focused on your options, but you are paying attention to the fact that people make you feel like you're worthless, and yet you're not shit. And let me tell you, you are the shit. Tell people to get the fuck up out your toilet. I learned that from Lil Wayne, right? But you are looking at your options in order to escape the situation where someone thinks that you should idolize somebody else. But that involves not taking this bitch's cup because she's nuts, right? So let's see. The Six of Wands reverse. What is up with that? Someone needs to sacrifice their baddies, their vices, their addictions, and they're not doing it. Right? And that is leading them to the point where they're not going to be able to get away from this disaster. Once again, Cancer's card. The Chariot. Trying to ride away but finding themselves stuck at a wall while the world is dissolving behind them. It's like, it, like, okay, if you were going to sacrifice something, you're not doing it now. Because it's like, if you sacrifice whatever it is, you're going to be heading towards more of a disaster. Or people are making you think that you're heading towards a disaster, right? Now, the two of pentacles right here, you are looking at your options and the situation. 
one of which is the fact that like you know there is no love here and the tower you know it's 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 empty it's exposed but nobody's really paying it any mind like they know it's exposed but they're acting like it, it isn't like just turning their heads and shit so you gotta kind of sneak away group two the seven of swords someone did some sneaky shit which resulted in love not being there. Now you're looking over your options when it comes to that, right? Your wants and wishes to get out of this box where you're stabbed with a bunch of swords. Because someone made you feel like they defeated you, but lo and behold, you are not as defeated as they want you to believe. You're just pretending that you are idolizing this person or giving somebody the idea that you would idolize them. You know, they want you to worship them. And you're sick of that shit, because it's just like, I am not a slave. You know, a slave doesn't know it's a slave until it has a taste of freedom. Right? And you're done with that. You recognize that you have freedom, and you don't want to be a slave anymore, almost. Right? Now, with this King of Cups, which is the obstacle and challenge, could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mind you, these two could be the same people, or they could be counterparts. Either or. I like reading either or. This motherfucker is not making a move when it comes to your options over here, right? That's why you're sneaking away. They aren't exposing any love to you. They aren't taking any action to you. They're too busy um, not doing it. Or you're not trying to go anywhere near this nastiness, right? Because it led to betrayal the last time. You're kind of looking it over like, nah! Fuck that shit, man. Last time I got stabbed with a bunch of swords. Is that seriously? Yeah, that's ten. It just looks all crazy how all ten are in there. <clears throat> Nine of cups, right? There's a wish fulfillment you're free. God damn it. There is a wish fulfillment that you are afraid of or rejecting, right? Ten of pentacles. <clears throat> what? Okay, is a, it could be Virgo or a Capricorn or a Taurus sitting in that seat with their little doggy. Hmm. Hmm. It's like you're afraid to actually go get your wealth so you can retire comfortably because that requires you to travel. Like you're getting your wish where you can get what you need to survive, but it's like you're too scared to like get on the fucking boat and leave. But you're getting your wish, so... I think you just got some stage fright. I think this King of Cups wants to say some shit about how they were betrayed, but it's like... You're coming out of betrayal yourself, so it's like, which one is it? Which one was... Like, were you both betrayed and you didn't realize it until you brought it up to somebody? I don't know, it's Queen of Cups right here. Full circle, right? She's got a cup full of poison acting like she loves you. Like she's your mom. Don't you take that cup. Because she's nuts. She is nuts, right? She wants to try to start something new with you. Something in the home, right, group two? But that's biting off more than you can chew. Actually, group one had the exact same card at the end. Now that I'm thinking about it. You're biting off more than you can chew. Don't don't you don't you fucking take that cup. She's gonna offer you something. Trying to make you feel at home, I feel like. And I think you're looking at this like Tyr's hand in Fenrir's mouth. For any of you who don't know the story of, Ty of Tyr and Fenrir, Norse mythology, right? Long, long ago in the galaxy far, far away. Um, the Greek, or not the Greek, the Norse gods feared Fenrir because it was foretold that he would end up killing, like, I think Odin and some other people, but I can't remember exactly, right? So the gods decided we're going to create something in order to bind him so he can't do that, right? And they tried a bunch of stuff. And mind you, he was a puppy, so he didn't actually know what they were doing. But as he got older, and mind you, he grew twice his size every day. So the longer he survived, the more of a threat he became to the gods. Which in reality, he wasn't a threat until they started like trying to trap him and shit, right? Well, one day they come up with this fetter called um, the uh, Glepnar or something like that. I can't remember. I'm in the middle of a reading. Thank you very much. You can wait. That's my little sister. I will get a hold of her later. But anyway, um, 
at one point they make the Gleppner, which is uh, was a strong tether or whatever it was that was magically made to like a, it kind of worked like a Chinese finger trap where the more you struggled the tighter it got and Fenrir was like I don't trust this thing you Tyr um how do I, I trust this thing and Tyr was like well how, let me stick my hand in your mouth and if you can't get out you can snap it off well Fenrir couldn't get it out so Tyr lost his hand right and legend has it that the earthquakes that are made in the earth is Fenrir trying to get out of that tether to this very day, right? And that's what someone's kind of doing here. They're like putting, they're, they're sticking their hand in the wrong place that's going to get chopped off, right? The ending theme for all of this is the Page of Pentacle Shadow Side Reverse. This person doesn't offer up dick, but still expects something to be resurrected from it. Which I don't think is a good thing, group two. I really don't. I, I, I think this person does not know what they are offering you. And I don't like the fact that they don't know how to come correct with the Page of Pentacles. Because the Page of Pentacles, he usually talks about... Um, it's usually a card talking about how you deal with people, how you socialize. And this person is not only like shadow side. They are shadow side reverse, which means like they aren't really good at thinking about... Um, how they're going to approach shit because they seem to think that you're supposed to worship them and shit, right? Let's see. We got the King of Pentacles right here with some monies. We got a Queen of Cups here too. Who's focused too much on her cup. And then we got the King of Swords. What? Okay, hold on up a minute because this is like weird. There's a King of Pentacle, a Queen of Cups, and a Queen of Swords. Or a King of Swords, right? It's like someone's got money, but they're holding their emotions in, but they're willing to like hold those emotions back in order to speak their truth, right? We got the Magician right here. Someone's trying to manifest something, but the Wheel of Fortune is also stuck. And they feel like they're running in place because there's an enemy in their house. Or they feel like they can't get a victory because everyone's coming against them. That's probably why you're trying to leave. Now we got the Queen of Swords. She was cutting stuff out in Group 1's uh, reading, right? And she's got, like, some issues. She's got some nightmares. She's got some terrors. She's got something keeping her awake at night. Ooh. And we got a bunch of cards for you, Group 2. She wants to let her guard down after a time of looking inside to realize that maybe she just doesn't feel like herself after this relationship's broke up. All of her options are shit, but she's still offering bullshit in order to end this fucking burden right here. Group 2? Nah, 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 nah. I feel like this person will only offer you the bare minimum and still expect you to do all the work. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, I, I don't think, like, group one recognizes the flaws, but it's like they don't recognize that that's important and they're not kind of trying to fix anything. You definitely see potential in group one or whoever, but you also recognize that they aren't willing to do anything to meet you halfway. Like, look, you're carrying all these sticks. They're carrying a fucking coin. Or a flower, depending on how you want to look at the pentacles, right? And, and they're just like, here, you want, here, you, you need to carry this flower because it's too much for me to carry. And you're just like, um, I'm carrying all these sticks. How about you grab a stick? Nah, that's too much work. What the hell, dude? Well, you know, I, I, I want I need to make sure I'm not overwhelmed. Are you serious? This person could also be a child, too. Or have a child mentality, which is just like, I will fucking, gah. Oh, like, I don't know. People who, don't, who expect you to, like, do everything and not put any... Like, that's just... Yeah, that's my pet peeve. It's like, don't keep expecting me to do all the work if you're not going to even... Like, don't ask me to hold your flower for you while I'm doing a bunch of work. You know? That's how I would feel about it. I don't know about you. But, that's the end of the reading, my dear viewers. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. No pressure, but I would awesomely appreciate it, right? I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, you guys have a good night. 
I will see you later. I love you. Be safe and stay suspicious. Okay? Okay. Bye-bye, guys. Till tomorrow.